What's up guys, it's Dman10 here, and today I'll be showing you a quick tutorial how to back up SHSH files on 4.2.1 and higher, and also downgrade 4.2.1 firmware to any firmware. This really works on any firmware, um, there's not really much updates um, in between firmwares, but uh, you want to download this program called Tiny Umbrella. I will have a link in the description for you. Um, this program updates regularly through um, updates through the firmware, so um, it's not hard to find. Um, I'll have a link in the description for you. So what you want to do first is, jailbroken or not, um, you're going to go through some of these settings. Um, advanced, you want to go in here if you're not jailbroken. Um, this program is still legal to use um, because... Apple and iTunes don't want you downgrading to a different firmware. Um, this allows you to do that. Um, say you want to check off save all available SHSH. Um, and really just leave everything here checked. Everything's checked for you. Um, so jailbroken or not, this will save your SHSH files. Okay. Um, and then this will allow you to downgrade to any one of these firmwares I have saved. So I have here, I've been doing this since 3.1.2, all the way to 4.2 beta 3 firmware, okay? Now, what you want to do first is, um, you want to go into Cydia, or if you're not jailbroken, just don't listen to this part. You can see up in the top, the top of the Cydia bar, it tells you all your saved SHSH files. So if that's matching your computer, then you're fine, and you're all good to go, okay? So now you just want to hit save SHSH files if you um if you want to save uh SHSH files you might not have saved yet, never done this before, just getting ready to downgrade. It's really quick process. All right, and then once that is done loading, um you're going to want to start um TSS server this allows you, this actually just runs the server while you're in iTunes downgrading to a firmware that you download from FelixBruns.com. Um, I'll have a link in the description for you that too, or FelixBruns.de, sorry. Um, so you're going to start the TSS server, so you're just going to click that. And that's just going to run through, um, basically, a bi it's a bypass in iTunes. Um, so once you're running that TSS server, you want to open up iTunes. Okay, your iPod will pop up. I don't really need to sync right now because I'm downgrading. All right, so now once you get to this menu here, um, you're gonna want to hit Option Restore if you're on Mac or Shift Restore if you're on Windows. Okay, so I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna hit Option Restore. Now you're gonna go find that uh, firmware that you want to downgrade to. See, I have all of them right here for my iPod. Um, I'll just downgrade downgrade to 4.1. That's just the easiest one to use. So you want to hit choose, restore, and now iTunes is going to run through the restore process. So I'm going to come back when this is all done because this takes a long time. I don't want this to be a long video. All right, now we're all done and we're on the 3.2 firmware. I decided to do downgrade on because 4.1 is not really a great firmware to be on. Um. In this, now it's up, asking me to upgrade to 4.2.1, which I will do after this video. But um, I'll do that later. And you can see I'm on 3.2, successfully downgraded using Tiny Umbrella's TSS server and um, the, the iTunes downgrade method. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll uh, catch you guys real soon.